Have you ever wanted to be a New York Times bestselling author or write the next Billboard top hits but don't think you have a creative bone in your body? Well, start with this. Pause the video and for the next minute, write down as many uses as you can for a fork. Now you might be thinking, how is a fork going to boost my creativity? Well, creativity, which involves the brain areas such as the hippocampus, frontal cortex, and basal ganglia, is the ability to produce novel and valuable ideas, meaning they must be both original and functional. This requires a balance between divergent and convergent thinking. Divergent thinking is an analytical, systematic type of thinking that searches for logical, correct answers to a problem. This is a type of thinking that is measured through IQ tests. For example, if you were asked to solve a complex math equation, this would require convergent thinking. Divergent thinking is more innovative and focuses on synthesizing many possible solutions to problems where there is no single correct answer. It is more spontaneous and free-flowing, which allows for a deeper exploration of topics. This is what we tested with the fourth question earlier. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need the IQ of Albert Einstein to be creative. Like I said earlier, IQ tests measure convergent thinking, which is still needed, but if you want to paint a giant mural or write a poem, your differential equations won't be much help. An average IQ is sufficient. Let's say you've decided to start writing that novel like you've always wanted to. You try coming up with settings and plot lines, but your brain automatically puts them down because you think they're unoriginal or boring. Your brain starts anticipating possible flaws to any sliver of an idea that comes to you. Eventually, your brain feels empty and you give up. Oftentimes, when trying to create, your convergent thinking tries to take control. You yearn to find a correct answer instead of allowing yourself to truly explore the options. That one idea you originally shot down might have morphed into a big breakthrough of an idea had you given it the chance. While convergent thinking is needed to realistically and successfully bring your ideas to life, bringing it into the process too early can limit your creativity. This is one of the biggest factors preventing you from reaching your creative goals. So how can you change that? Well, let's go back to the fork question. If you were someone with a short list, let's think about why. Are you extra critical of your ideas and only wrote down the ones that were good enough instead of letting yourself explore the options? Well, I want you to try this exercise again and write down every inkling of an idea that comes to you, no matter the quality, and try to consciously avoid convergent thinking. Here are some possible answers in case you were curious. Don't be discouraged if your list isn't as long as this. Strengthening divergent thinking takes practice. So now we've practiced finding the mindset you need to create, but remember creativity is the ability to produce novel and valuable ideas. Edison could have invented an orb-shaped piece of glass, but if it didn't serve the purpose of providing light like the light bulb does, then we wouldn't call it a clever innovation. That's where convergent thinking comes into play. Going back to the writer example, let's say you've successfully developed your list of ideas. Now is when you should analyze how much money or effort might be needed or how interesting an idea might be. Using convergent thinking to narrow down your ideas allows you to find the strongest plausible paths to success. Without it, your ideas would never come to life. It doesn't just end here. Creativity is a cycle. You can take your narrowed down ideas and use divergent thinking to build upon them and then convergent thinking again and repeat this however long you need. While there are other factors that can affect your creativity levels, learning the cycle of creativity and making an effort to balance your convergent and divergent thinking is one of the first steps to achieving your creative goals.